If someone does something that makes a lot of money, they are to share the wealth. If they don't, it will be taken away from them because their heart isn't right. The kingdom is not for me or my descendants. It's for the children of God that live throughout the earth. The kingdom is made with messianic power. I have used it to establish it because it is to be established forever and will not need to be changed. The power I have used is divine intervention as the Messiah. The divine intervention of becoming the Messiah is what destroyed all my human desires. The empire I was creating was uprooted so God could make it into a heavenly one for his children. I was a mighty king appearing and I was ruling with great power and doing as I please. But it wasn't what God pleased. We will not be a government that you can't believe what we say. A person who has sinned will be put in isolation so his sinning does not infect others and spread. Sin is a disease. If a person is determined unclean, he is to live outside of the kingdom. A person is unclean if the sins they commit make them completely unworthy to be part of the kingdom. A person who has been ousted from the kingdom will only be allowed back in if that person has been judged to be clean and again worthy of the kingdom. If you have to leave the kingdom, you will leave with nothing but the clothes on your back. What you wear is up to you and your culture. Ours is not a profit-making motive. Food, clothes, electricity, water, transportation, and shelter. The basic necessities of life are. You are the kingdom. This is truly where the people make the kingdom. The things given up for the sake of purity will not be missed after a while. God has guided me in a precise manner when writing this book. I don't want a kingdom where initiative is frowned upon or looked at with distrust. I want a kingdom where people can say what they want without having to worry. If something isn't right, tell us and we'll try to fix it. I don't want people who tell on others all the time. This is not a big brother is watching police state. I also don't want just a few people who control everything. Everyone will have a say in what goes on. We will not hide things from you like other countries do. 
we will not spend most of our time trying to manipulate you in your opinion. We will not have many laws. My spirit can be seen everywhere. If we have a need for a product we do not have in the kingdom, we will develop it. We either buy an industry or start our own. We do not import. Land must not be sold permanently because the land is mine. Farmland will be parceled out to true farmers. If the person sells their land and dies before the Jubilee year, the land goes back to the kingdom who will reparcel it out to another farmer. Anyone who wants to farm will get farmland. Farmers get a choice of what they want to grow within the list of produce needed for the kingdom. If you owned farmland and joined the kingdom, the land belongs to the kingdom, but you receive first right to it. Your house you keep, they are not to be redeemed. A kingdom-wide reduction in wages and prices. We are starting a new world with a new economy. We are lucky in that we already have most of the infrastructure in place. And thanks to the old rulers, we just don't have to pay them back. Just like we won't pay back the banks, the city will probably not pay back for bonds. But do not let that keep you out of heaven. My suggestion is redeem all cash holdings and buy property with as small a down payment as possible and a mortgage. So when we are told not to pay the loan on it, all that property reverts to you and the kingdom. Stop payment on loans will not occur until we have a stake in all property we can and want for the kingdom. Do not buy on seller financing unless you know the person will not join the kingdom leverage the day we stop paying loans we will own all the land and destroy the kingdom of Satan financially if you can't buy property then buy gold and silver because money will be worthless 